hello welcome to my youtube channel my name is Tita Aki and today we are going to discuss uh, one of the diseases of cardiovascular specifically coronary artery disease which is CAD pathophysiology begins with formation of fatty fibrous plaque on coronary artery the black narrow arterial lumen which is called uh, atherosclerosis thus reducing blood flow which leads to myocardial cardial ischemic cells damage thrombus formation and embolism you can see in this picture this is a normal artery there is no plaque formed around it and then this is a, a arterial lumen which there is a lot of plaques around it the blue color is is the black and then the red one is a telum and you see how it's closing up on this uh, picture you see this is the black forming around it see the blockage is getting closer uh, the blockage is blocking the lumen and you see how the blood is is coming uh, it has a uh, blood clots which sometimes it can enlarge and travel to other parts of the body that such as lungs or brain now let, let's discuss about causes of uh, CAD uh, one of the causes is uh, arterial hypertension altered platelet function genetic pre predisposition metabolic disturbance now let's discuss the uh, risk factors of uh, CAD uh, smoking male has a greater risk than female advanced age hypertension family history diabetic mellitus sedentary lifestyle chronic stress oral con contraceptive and hyperlipidemia what are the signs of CAD uh, chest pain which mostly precipitated by exertion smoking cold eating uh, heavy meals and excitement uh, diaphrosis dizziness syncope cool clammy skin cough or uh, or hemoptysis that is a uh, coughing out blood fatigue palpitation nausea and vomiting now let's talk about uh, laboratory uh, they can do uh, when they drop blood you can see elevated blood liquid level urine albumin creatinine uh, MPO plasma ceramide vitamin D test and then I'll try 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 my lamin and oxide now let's discuss about a diagnostic study to diagnose a CAD they can do a EKG or ECG which it will show ST depression uh, T wave and T wave uh, infarction they can also do cardiac catheterization which shows a uh, presence of a uh, arteros atherosclerotic lesion and then they can also do a uh, echocardiogram which is echo to see the heart size and uh, structure stress test to see um, any blockage of uh, the arteries and then um, CT coronary angio angiogram to see the plaque build up or blockage of the artery and then they can also do a coronary calcium scan which it can show um, calcium build up in the walls of the arteries now let's discuss uh, medication for CAD let's start from nitrates 
Nitrates increase blood flow and decrease myocardial oxygen demand and peripheral resistance. Example of nitrates is a nitroglycerin. Uh, it's taken sublingual or patch. Patch will only worn for 12 hours per day. May be given daily to prevent a tolerance. Keep tablets in a tightly covered dark colored container and replace tablets every five months. Make sure check to check blood pressure before giving because it promotes vasodilation and it lowers blood pressure and monitor the blood pressure after. Never use uh, nitroglycerin with Viagra or medication that is in the same class with Viagra because it promotes vasodilation which can severely uh, reduce blood pressure. Uh, let's now discuss ab about side effects of nitroglycerin. Uh, the major side effect is headache. You need to know. Autostatic hypotension and uh, syncope. Now let's discuss another class of medication that is used to treat a CAD, which is better blocking agents. Example, atelanol and cafidolol. Uh, Better blocking agents decrease blood pressure, heart rate, and myocardial contractility, thus decrease myocardial oxygen demand. Side effects of better blockers are CHF, bradycardia, heart block, depression, prognospasm, and it should be used cautiously with uh, asthma patients since it causes prognospasm. Fatigue, erect, erectile life function, sleep disturbance. Now let's discuss another class, which is uh, calcium channel blockers. Uh, it dilates coronary artery, prevent coronary vasospasm, and promotes systemic vasodilation. Side effects are dizziness, flushing, diarrhea, headache hypotension, peripheral edema, AV block, rebound tachycardia, heart failure, especially with farambamil and dilatism. Now let's discuss another class of medication, which is antiplatelet drugs. They can be used with anticoagulant uh, after surgery, such as like putting stent in or uh, after doing a uh, cabbage. This prevent uh, blood clots from forming in arteries. Example are uh, aspirin and plavix. Side effect is a uh, risk of bleeding and skin rash. Now let's discuss about uh, angiotensin converting enzyme inhibit inhibitors ACEs. It improves blood flow by relaxing blood vessels. Uh, it's used especially with uh, patients with left ventri ventricular dysfunction. Side effects are dry, hacking cough, angioedema, acute renal failure, fetal malformation. And um, example of ACEs are uh, lisiloprene. Let's discuss about our cholesterol medication, specifically statins. Statins reduces our cholesterol production. It stabilizes blood and reduces inflammation. It also lowers LDL and triglyceride. It raises HDL, which is a good cholesterol. Example of statins are lovastatin, Flofostatin, Prevastatin, Simvastatin, Atovostatin, Robostatin, and Pitafastatin. Side effects of statins are muscle pain, rhabdomyolysis. Rhabdomyolysis is a breakdown of muscle tissue which releases a protein called 
myoclopin into bloodstream and damages kidneys. A uh, low, low platelet count, headache, constipation, or diarrhea. We should monitor for uh, myalgia, dark urine, and liver enzyme ALT. Uh, now let's discuss about fibrates. Fibrates lowers a triglyceride and raises HDL. It's contradicted in patients who have severe hepatic and renal disease. Example of five fibrates are uh, gemoprosil, venoprate, triplex, lofibra, trica, antara, and uh, pheno phenoclide. Side effects for fibrates are GI upset, calstones, myopathy, wheezing, muscle pain, cough, headache, stomach pain, indigestion, and dizziness. Let's dis discuss about uh, nicotinizing acid. Uh, it raises HDL and lowers tri triglyceride and LDL. Initial doses causes a fair flushing, which is called niacin flush. Um, it's important to take uh, aspirin 30 minutes before taking this medication to help reduce uh, the symptoms. Example, examples are uh, niacin and niacin. Also monitor for uh, myopathy, GI, upset and bleeding, hyperglycemia, hyperuricemia, and liver function. Side effect, flushing, and then uh, this which is in digestion, cough, and then pruritus, that's eating of your skin. Now let's discuss about cholesterol absorption inhibitors. It lowers LDL and uh, triglyceride. Example is satia. Side effects are rash, rhabdomyolysis, angioedema, upper respiratory infection, and uh, urticaria. Now let's discuss about uh, pile acid resins. It lowers LDL. Example are uh, cholestamine, cholesterol, welgeol. Uh, we should monitor uh, for constipation and elevated uh, triglyceride. Uh, side effects are weight loss, muscle pain, sore throat, stomach pain, and indigestion. Let's talk about uh, fish oil. Fish oil uh, lowers uh, triglyceride. Example are lofasa, fasepa, also a uh, monitor for a uh, irritation test per fashion and a uh, chi upset side effect a uh, headache bleeding rash diarrhea and uh, insomnia thank you for watching my youtube channel if you like it subscribe like and share with your friends thank you